Oh, in this video we're going to look at one of the really cool things you can do in Serif Movie Plus and that's green screening or chroma key. So the shortcut by the way to get in media in we're going to bring another picture in here to use on our video. If you just get the folder open you can drag and drop media from the folder straight into the media area so it's ready to use. That might be a little bit easier than clicking on import media. When we've done that we're going to drag the image onto the timeline so we've got it next to the clips that we did earlier and then we're going to go back to media you'll see I've already got a green screen effects video in there and uh, there's quite a long green screen effects there's quite a lot of effects on it so we just need to go in and we need to crop out the bits that we don't want so we're just going to use the bit in the middle there with the explosion on so in just the same way as we on the earlier video we're going to cut it so we get rid of all the bits that we don't want That's it, and then once we've got rid of them, we can move them back so they're in the right place on the timeline. And then we repeat, repeat the process to get rid of the bit that we don't want. So we'll move it up there, that's it, just till it ends, that's it. And then we'll use the cut tool just to split it again, and then we can delete the section that we don't want. Now at the moment you'll notice the video is still a bit longer than the image. That's pretty easy to sort out. All we've got to do when we bring it level, and that's it, line it up at the start there, is to make sure that we can just click on the picture and we can drag it to the right to make it longer, to make it last for the same length as the explosion video. Now at the moment you'll see the explosion is, is a green screen. As soon as it goes onto that, that's it, it gets rid of the image because we need to take the background off. We need to take the green off. So to do that, we click on effects and add effect. Then we go up to chroma key. We click on that and you'll see the little eyedropper tool there currently selecting blue. We can drag it onto the movie to select the green. That's it. You see it's taken a lot of it off already but there's still a green glow around the flames there. So we can alter the levels a little bit just until we get to the bit that we're happy with. So you'll see the green disappearing as I click through. Just a question of playing with them until you get at something, until you arrive at something that you think looks pretty good. So if we play that we'll have a look. You can see we've got an explosion there in the middle of the beach which looks okay but we can go to transform to move it around we can also make it bigger and smaller by dragging the corners there like that and you can see we can just move it so it's on this top part of the beach rather than the bottom if we play that again to have a look at what we've got there we go it's starting to look a little bit more realistic now that explosion on the beach we can go back into transform and just change it a little bit more making it a wee bit bigger or whatever we want to do now if you've got yourself a green screen video you can have a little play with that you can put lots of different effects on and really make your videos looking quite cool 